Come here, I want to show you something. We have several clusters of wild oyster mushrooms here and I'm really excited because this is probably my favorite wild mushroom. So these are basically um, perfect. You know, these, these are the youngest uh, and these are the oldest ones here. You can tell by the, the different shapes, but these are all perfect, you know, perfect stage for eating. So I would like to show you how to identify oyster mushrooms because they grow abundantly. In, in this area and are around other parts of North America. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these mushrooms and I'm gonna show you what the underside of the mushroom looks like. So here's something that's very indicative that this is in fact an oyster mushroom. So these gills, they go from the stem all the way out to the edge of the mushroom. And these are decurrent gills so different species of mushrooms tend to fruit at different times of the year, but oysters tend to fruit in the fall and the winter right after a cold snap. So different types of mushrooms tend to have different types of stems. Some are much longer, some are much shorter. Um, with oyster mushrooms, the stems uh, tend to be very short, uh, almost no stem at all. And um, when fruiting off of the side of a stump like this, they the, the stems are going to be lateral, which means they're going to be growing horizontally. Oyster mushrooms tend to grow on the softer of the hardwood trees. And in, in this region where we live, they almost always grow on tulip poplar. Uh, and that's what this stump is here. Um, they're growing out of the stump and the roots. And we're able to tell it's a tulip poplar because we've got some coppice material here, here coming back. And uh, we, can, we can tell from the bark here what type of tree this is. Oyster mushrooms have a really uh, white flesh and it's, it's also quite thick. Uh, that's one way to, to identify them. They have very, uh, very deep gills. So mushrooms make spores and each mushroom has a unique colored spore. Uh, for oysters the spore print is going to be, or for oysters the spore print will be um, whitish to lilac. So what you can do is place the mushrooms on a piece of dark paper overnight and then lift them up and you'll see the color of the spores. That's a useful way for identifying uh, mushrooms. I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these oyster mushrooms and then we're going to make a lovely meal. You can see the spore point in here. See the spores? Okay. They're kind of purple. So there's kind of a grayish lilac colored spore on these mushrooms. Yep. Cool. All right. Here's our abundant bowl of oyster mushrooms. Uh, these are just beautiful. These are perfect. And um, I'm looking forward to making some stir fry.